take on today is 81%. You don't have to listen to it. Don't go in. Scott! Big boy now, eh? Scott! Hello, people. Enjoy that injunction against that ballot. They can't have an injunction against their bodies. Let's physically shut this entrance down. We're here today because the ballot result was 81% in favour of strike action. You know it, shit themselves basically. And following the threat of an injunction, they called off the strike to their shame. But we're all here today, and we're hoping to shut this job down. Up in Scotland, there's been lots of uh, strikes, strikes coming out, five strikes in Scotland, all over the country, people are doing the same thing. You see the police again, if you have any idea. Please, thank you. Move back, please. Keep moving backwards. And what we've got to get the call out to the TUC is a massive demonstration down here of all workers to come down here and say what's wrong. It's remarkable that the old bill here today to protect those people coming to work to work for lower rates of pay. In two or three years' time, the old bill are going to be the ones that can have their pay reduced as a result of this government with the same public attacks. We deal with Balfour Beatty on a day-to-day -day basis in the railway industry who come in and took over the infrastructure when British railways were privatised and every single year we've had fight after fight of them trying to reduce pay and reduce conditions. But this is far wider than just the building industry. What this is all about now is lowering rates of pay and conditions because the bosses believe they've got the upper hand with mass unemployment and anti-trade union laws down which are masculating working men and working women. Hold the line! Link arms! Come on, let's help us out. Respect the picket line. Do not cross the picket line. This is the first law of trade unionism. You do not cross the picket line. The police are going to go to the other entrance. We need 20 pickets. 20 people to volunteer at that picket line. Take it line here, mate. Take it line, it coming all out. Out, 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 I'm trying to protect them. Maybe you'd like to shake me by the throat, because I'm the enemy. Am I the enemy, or am I one of you? I'm one of you. I'm trying to protect your conditions and wages. Come on. Do the right thing. Thank you very much. On Monday in Liverpool at a meeting, the stewards from the North East, North West, Scotland, they have stated that if one person gets sacked because of failing to sign this agreement, they will be 100% behind anyone who gets laid off or sacked in London. And they would like the same going back the other way if anything happens up there, OK? If we go down the corner, there is another site entrance which is completely open. We're occupying the site. Let's go. Again, huh? I must love you, Balfour. I must love you. Right. Back you go. Come on! 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 Come
my legal right to have the report. We know you. Come here. Oh, you can be a picket on the side. A single electrician has gone into work today. That's the message we're sending out in Liverpool, in Humberside, in Scotland, in Wales. Balfour Beatty has been shut down today by the rank and file. Listen, lads. We're all going to go up to Balfour Beatty's office. Balfour Beatty's head office, right? Wilton Street. All right. Near Victoria Station. The union hasn't signed up to Besna. There are a set of proposals, a set of proposals from seven rogue employers. Remember, you got rid of one by keeping this protest going. And they're not on their knees. They're wealthy companies. They're profitable companies. They're making money. A company that has got a 15 billion order book that has made a hundred million pound profit over the last six months. His chief executive earns a million pound a year. Why can that company explain to these workers out here why they need to reduce wages by 35% and armor terms and conditions? trades yeah they've already been done they've already been done we're starting to fight back and we'd like every trade here to join us join we don't have to take this shit we have the power let me tell you what we have achieved over the last four months Balfour Beatty have lost a major contract in Manchester millions of pounds worth of work just because the owner of that company don't want the sorts of disruptions that we've been causing on their sites BAA are talking about renegotiating a contract on a major project on East Road with Crown House Engineering. There is a way to fight back, and that's called working class solidarity. Everyone here should be out on these picket lines fighting back, telling them we're not taking these pay cuts anymore. We're not going to have you taking them in. We're not going to let you use health and safety to bully us, giving us yellow cards, making sure we know that you're powerful and we're not. Well, we're the ones with the power. We're going to shut your sites down. This sort of disruption is going to happen day in, day out. Cables cut, pipes broken. We're going to keep coming back and we're going to smash your jobs till you give in and we win. We send a message to Belfa, BT, Rat Brothers, Tommy Clark. You can poke Besta right 